Hey. And we're back. Hey everyone, we're the Stardust Hunters and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In this episode, we go continue on through Winnie the Pooh. Alright, I've got a question for the ages. What's up? What? Death Battle. Winnie the Pooh versus who? Barney? Barney? Barney. That's Barney. 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 Oh, Barney. The, the dinosaur. dinosaur. Yeah, that's the only one that comes to mind. I'd say Barney would have the edge on that one. I mean, yeah, but... Oh, look. I can't imagine who else would be a closer fit. Bear in the Big Blue House? <laughs> Why the or hell? maybe you... Lamb Chop. Yeah, Lamb Chop. We need the Pooh versus Lamb Chop. I could see that happening. Good lord. There'd be stuffing thrown everywhere. After all that work. Well, we've already ruined several levels of childhood along this road. Look at Eeyore's eyes. Aww. Oh god, I can see uh, pixelation on that one too. Did you not catch that one? What? The Eeyore's eyes? I it's oh, staring yeah. me in the face! Oh yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh lord. Who are Eeyore? He needs a hug. Thanks for oh, noticing. <laughs> Who doesn't even remember Eeyore? Eeyore don't you? And that is the most depressing of them all. God. <laughs> even how depressed Eeyore is, I'm surprised that didn't just drive him off the cliff. So he here's a retro thing for you, Legend. Hi. Do you remember back in the day when they would sell Winnie the Pooh merchandise to men and women? I have an idea. And specifically, I'm talking more towards the women's side of things. Why was Eeyore always popular with women? I could give you several cultural answers to that, but I think that they would be just as depressing as the character. Probably not. So let's go find some honey. What's up? So what you're saying is that women were depressed. Or are depressed. Yep. Watch, I'm gonna get stompeded by the cavalcade of activism. Eh, let's see. Lord knows, I've said some shit in the past that will get me stampeded in any kind of sense. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, he says. It'll only hurt for a moment. Draw a ring. That allows you to draw an orb. That's helpful, actually. Wow, a treasure that actually gave you a treasure? This chest is nice. A P boost. Yeah, you basically can get a bunch of resources from here. Yeah, that's the point of the Winnie the Pooh world, is literally just resources. Some really good ones once you finish it, but that's just me, or did Rabbit put on a gut? No, he's always been kind of budgy. At least in the in the in in this style, he's always been. Oh my god, he's got to lay off the coconuts. Coconuts? I did not tell you guys this, but you two gave me another one. Look at that. Which oh, is... what did the algorithm bestow upon your timeline this time? I don't know if I've said this before on the channel, but uh, just for context, I've always said that YouTube is like a cat that brings you dead things or weird things, as if to say, have a look at this! <laughs> and this time, it was an entire choir on a plane singing the goddamn coconut song. And I mean entire choir, as in they filled up the entirety of economy class. Wow, who's an asshole? Did he just take? He just he just, he doesn't remember who Rabbit is and just yoink. Oh, nom. Wow, fuck you, Boo. Oh, hello, Sona. It's good to see you again. Same here. We're really sorry. Do you know how hard it is for a Rabbit to get honey from bees? This is obnoxious. <sighs> now you're just some buddy that I used to know? We ain't doing a Godier uh, thing, right? Uh, it's bunny that you used to know. Ew? I'm not, last, I'm not looking for art of that. No, but it probably exists. Uh, Thank you for put, putting <laughs> vor art in my head of poo eating rabbit. Oh man, now I got it in my head too. <laughs> I can't decide... Complete with x-ray of the inside of Pooh's stomach. Okay, now you're going a bit too far. Now, I'm just thinking, is it blood or stuffing that comes out? That's the weird Poo thing. is literally a stuffed Corn teddy bear. Cornbread stuffing? Cornbread stuffing. No, it's cotton fluff and stuff. Oh, shit, I had cornbread this Sunday. It was fantastic. He hit now, the... now I'm hungry again. Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, let's see. What are you pushing? Head what the... the fuck is that triangle pushing? Press and hold circle. We don't want any more art of this, damn it! 
Oh, it's this one! Okay. Well, this is going on. More Huns. So do you More remember Huns. the one, uh... This is actually this is actually a really fun one. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you remember the Tarzan minigame, but without the incessant like backtracking? No. Because <laughs> that's all the Tarzan minigame. <laughs> well, this, that and getting your this is what this game is. Yeah. Just oh. just gather all the honey and Damn. to the moon, Alice. Actually, this is really funny. We just went into the sun. Nope, we just broke the fucking fourth wall again. Again. Oh, hey, my favorite episode of the original Winnie the Pooh. The rain scene. And there's the windy day. How plus nice. three day. It was a plus three day. Oh, yeah, you can also grab Gopher for help, if I recall right. You can grab Gopher? <laughs> what just happened? I hit a, a, I hit a honeycomb, so I had to uh, help... Uh, we need a Grand Theft Auto wasted across that little... It's winter now! And now it's time to recreate the scene from Sonic, Sonic uh, Adventure 2. I thought it was Indiana Jones. Or uh, maybe even, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Crash Bandicoot. I don't know. Yeah. But this is this is a really harmless uh, minigame for the most part. Ooh. Harmless, huh? We As we get squished by a giant snowball. <laughs> they were just sticking out of it. Alright, I'll give it this. This is comedic as fuck. I like it. Like, why couldn't we have this back in the day? I don't know. So, go for help to you, Sam. Yeah. Yes. By sitting on your balloon. No, he is the balloon that'll keep uh, Pooh from getting thrown off. Ah. Finish! And we found uh, the hidden planes where Rabbit kept all the honey. Just as much as you'd like. Why, thank you. Okay, that's enough honey to make this bear explode. Yeah, except he appears oh, to be fine. You gotta wonder how what all that honey does to the stuffing inside you, him. Oh. Well, you could always say that it's the land of make-believe. True. I think that's the whole idea of it with Christopher Robin and all these animals. Oh, no. And now it's time do for this scene. Do it! I actually had a book, uh, kind of bookender thing yes. that was of Winnie the Pooh what in this scene. Whatever it is, I believe it's help. called Predicament? Oh, yes. Yeah. Quickly, By the by, uh, original fans of the show, I know you're all cringing like I am, thinking, oh wait, he was in the freaking other side coming out from the rabbit hole. Yeah. Yep, that too. With his butt in, with his butt constantly in Rabbit's house. Yeah. yeah. And the hilarious thing was, uh, Rabbit was like trying to find ways to get used to the fact that Pooh's ass was sticking out by so decorating the ass into a little face. Yeah. So he had dick butt. Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't need more goddamn honey, Rabbit. Well, if I am dreaming, which I suppose I could be. I Is this the real the life? You invite me to oh, now he finally remembered that after getting his a his that ass flung 50 feet. Uh, um, Pooh Bear is, uh, Winnie the Pooh is woke, being able to recognize that he could possibly be dreaming in reality. I don't think that's the appropriate way to use woke nowadays. I know it isn't, but it's like, it's like the Neo type of woke. Ne the, the, the Matrix type woke, not the... Oh, the woke. Yeah, not that. <laughs> the counter type woke. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. And he still doesn't remember Sora. Well, at least you remember Rabbit and Eeyore now. Goody. Uh, you know, there is one tiny little thing that I could see here that is actually really cool on a uh, writing set. Yeah? Sora and Pooh Bear have the one thing in common that they don't have their memory complete. That's true. Well, the only reason why Pooh doesn't have his memory is because of Naminé's bullshit to Sora. So does Sora have that problem? And he still doesn't remember everything. Well, yeah, Sora. I feel like my grammar's just taken, there, taken it down a few notches. Well, we are at a... a... Kangaroo! Eeyore told me Pooh wasn't quite himself. I thought this the only responsible character in the entire series. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Besides Christopher Robinson, surprisingly. Yep. And here comes the asshole. 
Oh, this is my favorite character back in the day. Oh, yeah. I knew two cousins who absolutely adored this No, character. Tigger, that's not for you. Fuck off. Actually, the reason why they liked him was because they were him. We were all ADD little fuckers. I think that was just called being a kid. Yeah. Well, there's being a kid, and then there's being ADHD, which we were. <laughs> well, ADHD is you can't focus on anything, like, no matter how hard you try for the most part. It's not just that. It's more like you can't do things long term. Like, you can't plan things out long term. So, like, you kind of just, like, mm, let things slip here or there. And it also ends up with you, like, leaving things here or there that shouldn't be, forgetting dates for stuff. Or you calc them. It can be bothersome. Bother, bother, bother. All right. And of course, everyone's all-time favorite uh, little thing about ADHD, you can't concentrate unless you're moving. Which is fun. <laughs> so much fun. Hello, Tigger. Hello, Mr. I don't know. I'll do the trick. Mini game time. Okay, was this is this one as ass as the one in the original? That's hello, Son Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. No, this is like that one. Uh, this is like that one uh, party game from Mario Party, except it's in a weird close-up perspective, so you can't see where the balloons are. Yeah. Did and you just do the swim up in midair? Yeah. By the way, I don't need to do ten balloons for that one. Oh. I'm pretty sure you there. Like you can come back and do these mini games again for more. Possibly, like get a high score, but. Eh. Well, then I guess both is not the answer. That isn't the answer to life's questions, Tigger. Sadly. What is the answer to life's questions? Is that the universe is a joke. That is actually Buddhist philosophy. Buddhist or Taoist? No, 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 literally. The Buddha awakened to the reality of the universe. Everyone's fucking retarded. And laughed. No, I think you're thinking of Lao Tzu. No, no, that's the Buddha. I know that because... I'll match you on that one. Because there's an entire book called The Tao of Pooh. And, and I read that fucking shit. Did you read the Tai Ching of Palets? I did not. I'll have to get to that. <laughs> what the fuck? It's you? A thing. Yeah, it's a thing. I, kn I was aware that there's a Buddhist philosophy around the dude from the Big Lebowski. Yeah, it's called Buddhism. There, uh, what the fuck? Out of body experience? Oh god, I forgot about that. I just keep remember. I just remember keep seeing a clip of that scene uh, with Africa playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's having an out of body experience? Yep, the dude abides. Do the bites. <laughs> and that one's taken care of. All right, give me one back. more to go. I think there's like two more. All right, skippity do. Oh, I remember this movie. Skull. Ah, uh, that was a fun time. We've all come for the Chthonian sacrifice. Well, we're all looking for poo. Is actually the thing. Well, we must draw the circles and summon him. Rabbit, bring us more honey. Piglet, bring us the spices. Look at that. A right. jagular. I forgot that's how they called it. Reminds me yeah. of my dear cousin Alphonse. Say, why are you sitting around oh, here? Oh, man. What? You know what I just realized? What did you just realize? Who's supposed to be a goddamn bear? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why would he be afraid of anything? He isn't. But you can still scare the shit out of a bear if you're a Finnish. Huh. You have never seen that video, have you? Nope. Well, there's this video of this Finn, old Finn I can presume, who does the most stereotypically Finnish thing possible, where he grabs a broom, kicks open the door to find a bear eating his trash, and just growls this amazing Fuck you to the bear's face. Bear! <laughs> Just scares the shit out of the bear. 
Okay, so the mini game for this is you guess that I find foo, foo within the time limit. Okay. And the courage meter for everyone will slowly uh, decrease over time. Yeah, and then you just gotta bring them uh, uh, back together. Don't get lost, kids. I actually know this way, the, the, this place way too well. How long have you spent in here? Eh, not too long. Mm. And their courage is gone. Yep. So they're all running around. Now there's still more bees! Settle down, everyone. Calm up. bees! So yeah, this stuff you uh, slip on. Guard recipe. So this feels like a bit more of a low-key escort mission. Yeah, it's very low-key. Not like, really an escort mission because you're you because you aren't worried about their health. Well, it's it, not so they do have a health bar. It's their courage, but it doesn't really matter because you can just go eh, round them up and then you're good. Yeah, and, and the, the only the only uh, issue is the time limit. And even then, that's not an issue. Because you've got three minutes. Yeah. Plus. And we're already at the end. And if anything, we're just we're just taking our time because we want to grab all the items. Yeah. And that's the last item. What's up? But yeah, this Finn just basically just yells, Fuck you at the bear, and the bear ran. And that was a minute. And that was the Russian-Finnish war all over again. <laughs> and I was not paying a goddamn attention to any of that. Oh, I know. I know. Sorry, I, I had to focus. This is such engaging gameplay, after all. If you say so. I'm being sarcastic, you numpty. I was being sarcastic, you numpty. How about you both be sarcastic with each other? Ow! Shit, you hit me right on where I fell down. <laughs> that was not me. I was just blocking my No, head. you actually moved your arm out. Yes, but that's why you shouldn't be hitting people in the first place right now. Ow. Pa pass me the controller. I'm good, I'm good. Fuck off. Alright, don't, don't, don't trigger anything. Yeah. And Wasp is about to block something flying in my head. Now try to remember, Pooh. Them's were the days. Ugh. Hello, animation. Oh, the jaguar. No, that's just your stomach. It's just your tummy grumbling. You must be hungry. Come on, let's head home and see if we can find you some honey. I'd like that, Sora. Hey! You finally remembered. Remember Meanwhile, Namine is drawing this whole thing Derp. going. I wonder if this is how I'm getting to remember me. Ever so much when you're cheerful, Sora. <sighs> no, he is not going to remember Namine. No, sorta. It's complicated. Right. He remembers. He remembers to thank Nominee and Jiminy Cricket. Still a fucking idiot for not writing down everything that happened in Castle Oblivion. Information does not travel through a black hole. And we got the Sweet Memories Keyblade, which increased, which in the original version increased item drops. No, it, it increases drop rates of dry orbs. And in place of money. And he also does not enhance your strength. Yeah, it's not the best. Anyway, skipping that, <coughs> yeah, but if we need to win a wiffle ball tournament. I guess it'll help. Oh, oh, that game. Here we go. That game. Final, final area. Have you played that game? Which game are we talking about? Who's baseball tournament? No, I have not. How bad is it? It is notoriously difficult. Difficult. Yes. We the poo. Yes. Okay. What? You know the phrase cosmic rubber... ring. You know the phrase uh, rubber band AI. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yes. Fuck. Yep. Then we got the style recipe for synthesis. And he's stuck. Oh. Let's help him. Leave him be. He'll okay, be so fine. press triangle to stop the power gauge and begin swinging. Press triangle when swinging to choose the direction to send the pot flying. What are I looking at? It's it's basically a, uh, <laughs> a, a a swing and toss mini game. I, I hit the button too quickly. Yes, I'm you glad did. you did. That was hilarious. Yes, you did. Let's try it again, Rado. Let's help him. 
So you gotta hit triangle first, and then you gotta hit it again. There you go. And you almost broke broke the at score counter. Yeah. Damn. So what were you doing here? I was thinking perhaps there's a way to make it so you won't go away. Stay here. A way to make me stay forever and ever and ever. You know what my arms can do, Rito. So you, you don't want to try it again. Don't hurt me. Oh. I'm not trying to hurt you. I was defending myself. I barely was going to tap you. And then you end up hurting yourself. <laughs> again. You triggered my reflex action. I don't want to do it again. That's what I get for having a Taekwondo master as a friend. I'm not a master. You taught it. I'm calling you a goddamn master. No, no, that's an actual designation. Like, master something you actually have to have a degree and earn for. It. Fine. You are an instructor. Yes. Just stay here. Still, you have you have about like twelve different ways to kick my ass. Maybe thirteen. Right here. Mm. Yep, that's all. I wouldn't though. Would you promise? Because he's a good friend. I promise too. Where the fuck do you pop up from? Hello, everyone. We we're just here. We were, were you all watching us? Yes. Sure do. Kind of were expecting you to kiss at some point. Ew. Ew. No, not in the not in the T, not in the K10 rated game. It's a it's K10 or E10. Stuffed animals. E10. And so that didn't stop Sonic 06. <laughs> we do not speak about the evil. The only thing good about that game was the music. It also inspired a movie. Really have to go. It also inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel like <laughs> Sonic fans are abuse victims at this point. Are they? Because they do it to themselves. <laughs> yeah. Right here. I broken... can't leave him. I love him. <laughs> well, where did that come from? An old Spoonie video. Are you sure? That's, yeah. That's... Yes. He he was calling like Final Fantasy fans are like those. Uh, Wives of domestic abuse victims that you see on TV. I don't know, that kind of came from a personal place there. <laughs> oh, sh are we talking? No, we're not going there. Okay. Shut the fuck okay. up. Aww. And they had and they have him drawn in the traditional style. Oh. Yeah, that, it was torn up by the Heartless. Wait. Oh. Okay, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> I can't stay mad at you. This is probably, this is, I think, the best way to build world, in my opinion. And also we get a cure element, so we get Curaga. And Orichalcum Plus for the Ultima weapon. Even more Orichalcum. Buddy. Buddy. So, we are at 22 minutes. What do you guys want to do? Well, we still need to do shit in Hollow Bastion, as in, take care of what was actually going on, as in... The uh, MCP taking over the goddamn place? I just saw a palace on the wall somewhere. What? You sure you weren't seeing a Disney mark? Oh, you can go back and look for it. Oh god, you I keep... You don't know what I was talking about. I keep thinking I can glide because I was doing a practice file for uh, the super bosses later on. But you don't have glide yet. Nope, because that's, lim that's uh, hidden off in a separate form. Hmm. You know, glide reminds me of something. What? And it's something that's recent and not on our channel, but I know that you follow this fellow and he just played through days. Oh yeah, KZX is doing a uh, Kingdom Hearts marathon as we're doing this, and he has just finished going through Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. Did you see what the Dust Flyer did? All I saw was him get hit once, almost die, and fuck off. Yep. I didn't. And I went up against that thing. I spent a good three or four tries against that fucker, and it took me about an hour how per good, attempt. How good a Tetris did you get so you could finally get, like, everything organized in your, uh... Oh, that's the, not the problem. The problem was that you needed certain very specific skills to even have a chance of doing it. You wanted to go full aerial because you saw the size of the shock waves, right? Right. If they, if they hit you, you get hit with every single status effect that ever existed. Huh. It is horrible. So you don't let yourself get hit by those. He only has the two attacks, the meteors, which will home in on you if you're not flying, and the shock wave, which will not hit you if you are flying. You have to spend the entirety of the fight in the air. Huh. 
You didn't hear me, did you? I kind of heard. I heard you. It's a bullshit fight. I think I tried my hand at him, and I was like, yeah, fuck this shit. You tried your hand. You tried a hand. You didn't actually go through it and go and fight the thing and kill it. Uh, I did. I did. And that, <laughs> I, I think we found the source of his trauma. Oh, you you better believe that was a big part of it. How about the one in the giant... How about the emerald uh, thing in the maze in Alice in Wonderland? It was annoying, but it wasn't bullshit to the degree that the dust wire felt. Again, because I actually lost a 3DS because of that. Oh, and we get Leon's Keyblade, the Sleeping Lion. You didn't... Yeah, I, I, I heard you, dude. I heard you. Uh, no, I mean, it broke my 3DS to beat it. Your 3DS or your DS? My DS and 3DS. All broke their shoulder buttons. Oy. Well, shall we do this? We shall do this in the next episode. Later, guys. Later. I will never get over my trauma. No, you won't.